Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. As Wisconsin Republican legislators face death threats, President Obama finds time to hold a bullying summit to push the radical homosexual activist agenda. I'm Matt Barber, Vice President of Liberty Council Action and Associate Dean with Liberty University School of Law and for Matt Staver. And joining me in studio is Sean Akers, Dean of Liberty's Helm School of Government and Policy Analyst with Liberty Council. Sean, uh, the White House Conference of Bullying Prevention took place recently, provided a platform for homosexual activists and extremist groups like the Human Rights Campaign to promote their political agenda. Uh, Sean, you know, um, Rahm Emanuel, the uh, new mayor of Chicago, formerly President Obama's chief of staff, famously said, I'm paraphrasing here, essentially, let no good crisis go to waste. That is what the Obama administration has really had as a centerpiece of of the Obama administration. And uh, really grabbing onto the same strategy that we have seen the homosexual activist lobby use, the Obama administration has held a anti-bullying summit to uh, focus on prevention of bullying of children, something that that we all uh, can agree needs to occur. Unfortunately, Kevin Jennings, President Obama's safe school czar and founder of GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network, figured out a long time ago that the you can use a Trojan horse strategy using uh, language of, of, of bullying and violence and creating safe schools and so forth, wrap that around a homosexual activist political indoctrination agenda and a curriculum of, of, of pro-homosexual propaganda, if you wrap it all together, you can take a crisis, uh, legitimate bullying uh, that occurs against uh, kids of every stripe, be it because they're uh, you know, overweight or they wear glasses or they their skin color or because they happen to be Christian or, yes, because they may identify as gay, lesbian, or transgender. Uh, Unfortunately, President Obama has cynically uh, done the same thing that homosexual activists do and have politicized this issue of bullying in order to push a homosexual activist agenda. His bullying summit summit, uh, was heavily, heavily weighted on the LGBT political issue, uh, political agenda. It's really no surprise. You know, Matt, since time immemorial, children have, have bullied other children for a variety of causes. The top ten on that historically would not be LGBT issues. Right. They would be being overweight or being unattractive or being somehow somehow different than the other children. They've all children have have bullied other children and it's never garnered federal attention before, ever. Now, you know, have you ever heard it said, Matt, that a text without a context is a pretext? I've never yeah. seen a better example of it. They have couched this. As you pointed out, Rahm Emanuel told us to let no crisis or potential crisis or the appearance of a crisis go to waste when you can actually use it to do something that you couldn't do otherwise. I'm obviously quoting him rather liberally there, not using his exact words. But the fact is, you can always look to uh, to the groups who are truly benefiting to clear the air on this a little bit. I want to read something to you, Matt, from LGBT Weekly. Uh, this is the weekly publication of the of the uh, the, the lesbian, uh, gay, bisexual, transgender movement. And here's what they say. They say this was written as of the day of the of the bullying uh, meeting at the White House. Today's White House anti-bullying summit makes a major ba- breakthrough in national support of LGBT safety initiatives. Now, they're pointing out that you don't see them mention students, Matt, very seldom. There are only a few references to students in this article. What they're referencing is what it's done for the LGBT movement. 
movement. Mm -hmm. The students don't even come into play here because, as Rahm Emanuel would have pointed out, they were, in fact, a means to an end. Otherwise, this bullying would have been brought up when we were dealing with the harm done to overweight children and those deemed different by the other children. Well, unfortunately, President Obama and uh, groups like the Human Rights Campaign are really furthering a separate but equal policy here. They're segregating, using segregation and segregating out different classes of, of, of uh, student and, and kids and saying that some we need to uh, pay particular attention to and focus and, and promote a, a behavior or a lifestyle and to the detriment and to the exclusion of others. The, the almost exclusive focus here of, of pre bullying prevention against uh, uh, kids who engage in homosexual behavior or maybe suffering uh, from same-sex attraction uh, is, is again, um, really cynical. Uh, Ellen Kahn, the director of the Human Rights Campaign, in, in talking about creating uh, a welcoming and safe schools environment for, for K through 12, uh, so what kind of things do they do we need to prevent bullying? Why, you know, a curriculum with videos called That's a Family, which depict a 9 and 10 year olds lauding the benefits of living with two moms or two, ba two dads, uh, uh, you know, uh, comprehensive sex education, which, you know, uh, c creates this this, uh, you know, sliding scale of sexuality of, you know, how do you know you're gay if you haven't, you're not gay if you haven't tried it and and uh, so it's it's the the entirety of the homosexual activist political agenda again wrapped in this language of creating safe schools and preventing bullying, and again we have a situation that that this creates where the those who they accuse of being the bullies become the bullied people with traditional values Christians kids who who happen to believe what every major world religion thousands of years of history and uncompromising human biology. Uh, hold to be true that uh, sexual behavior is appropriate within the bonds of marriage between a man and a woman, that uh, there is such a thing as sexual immorality. People who have sincerely held uh, religious beliefs to that effect are the bullies, are the homophobes, the haters. They have to be silenced, and any representation of traditional values becomes stamped with this uh, bullying Label what a great Alinsky uh, style uh, homo fascist tactic to silence any dissent. You know, Matt, any political movement, whether it's this one or any other one, that takes on this this uh, Saul Alinsky's rule number five. You you demonize the other side and uses. I mean, uh, let me let me put it in a, in in straight terms for you, Matt. If you really wanted to stop bullying, you would want to create. You would want to to enjoy gender, you would want to grow Judeo-Christian ethic, because in the Judeo-Christian ethic, you are to love your brother just like yourself. You are to do unto others as you would have them do unto mm -hmm. you. So even if you disagreed with somebody's lifestyle, the Judeo-Christian ethic would be the first to tell you you're not going to bully. You're not yeah. going to beat of up. Course. You're not going to abuse course. anybody. But that's not what's happening here. What's happened is exactly what you've, what you've pointed out, is this gives the opportunity to accuse anyone who disagrees with your political statement to make them into a bully. And, and furthermore, puts you Instead of in, instead of teaching children to love one another regardless of disagreements, not just differences, but but legitimate disagreements on what should be the right way to do things, they are forcing, as you pointed out, a a form of reeducation, mm -hmm. a form of indoctrination and reeducation that smacks of socialist and communist countries, and not creating something based on what we know is 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 good in and of itself, and that is to love one another even when we disagree on political and social ideas. Well, that's exactly right. Well, uh, Sean, um, if, you know, we've had the, the spate of kids who have committed suicide, and, and some of them it has been apparently because they have been bullied. Um, some, uh, a handful have actually also been kids who have self-identified as, as gay or lesbian. Other kids bullied and committing suicide, for, bullied for other reasons. But, you know, sexually active teen boys uh, are eight times more likely to attempt suicide. Girls are much higher likely to attempt suicide who are engaging in, in, in premarital sexual behavior. 
and kids who are engaging in homosexual behavior um, I think often look inward and, and know that what they're doing is, is unnatural is, is wrong is immoral and so they become depressed and, and the instances of of, uh, of suicide can can rise there as well what Obama should be teaching rather than promoting the LGBT agenda that pushes uh, premarital sexual activity be it homosexual or heterosexual what Obama should be doing is advocating on behalf of abstinence education and and encouraging kids to to remain pure until marriage that is the best way to prevent kids who are engaged in sexual behavior from committing suicide. To learn more about Liberty Council and what we're doing, go to lc.org or give us a call at 1-800-671-1776. Join with us as we stand for the natural family. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.